Okay, then we're on to initiative. Oh, there you go, Darren. Chance to win. Uh -huh. You only needed to roll like a 10 to win and you rolled a 19. Yeah. Way to waste your 19. So, um, these two wolf spiders were like out of it for a while. This guy is still out of it until next round. He loses one action, so he'll lose his action for this round. Gotcha. Hmm. I don't really have a lot of attack spells. I don't know. Color spray was good. This is a fairly significant fight, so I think I'm going to move and I'm going to cast a bless. Okay, so that gives everybody a morale bonus to hit. Yep, and then I'll fire off a cantrip at the stun guy again. Okay. And I'll hit. For the biggest of two damage. Every bit counts. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the spider to the south of you will attack you, Corey. Uh, scoring a hit. For five points, you can roll your poison save. The other spider will attack the dust devil. Missing horribly. And then the editor cap will move up a little. And attempt to web crimson again. I make my poison save. Okay, you are not poisoned then. So, would a you 14... Got him, this time. got him? Okay. So that takes him out of the fight. Oh, nice. The two top spiders don't get an action, and then we're on to the Edder Cap. Edder Cap will move up a little. And then try and web Theron. But fail Eight. miserably. Yeah, it's not going to cut it. And then the Edder Cap in the flank will attack Crimson while he is down. Oh my god. I think a 14 might still be hit while he's uh, minus 4 to Dex and minus 2 to AC. Well, the minus 2 gets him. Okay, so he takes a claw for 6 points. And then the last editor cap. Uh, I think he will try and web Yogi. He's not in combat. Fourteen uh, hit your touch, AC. Uh, it's just Dex, so yeah. Okay, then you are webbed as well. And that is all of my actions, so we're on to Yogi. It's just sort of lagging out for anyone else. No, I'm not having any problems. Nope. There we go. All right, me and Crimson struggle uselessly. You can technically attack even while webbed. Yeah, I don't think there's actually much use for you to do it unless you're being attacked by something. Well, I can't move and do anything. You don't have any attack spells, strikes, anything like that? Oh, well, yeah. You can strike that Edder cap, cap in the back that just webbed you. He doesn't have. He's not in combat, so.
And Crimson can still make a bite, right? Uh, yeah, he can still bite. He's minus two, and if he uses his dex, the, another minus two. But he's also attacking an Ettercap who's flanked. Were there any changes to um, how flanking works? Uh, flanking is a condition, so when you are flanked, you are minus 2 to your armor class and can be sneak attacked. Um. As opposed to just the guys that are on the flanking side getting the bonus. Oh, so it applies to everyone around, um, including ranged attacks? Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's completely retarded to have him be so distracted by the guy to his left and the guy to his right that he's paying attention to the ranger in the background. Alright, I'm done. Wait, wait. You still have your air guy. Yeah, I just saw that. Did he attack last round? I don't remember him attacking at all. No, I forgot last round. That's my bad. Your, your, your favor. All right, that's it. Okay, then we're on to Corey. Oh, you attacked the spider. Okay. Yeah, I know. Uh, I I guess I will attack with my primary weapon. Oh, what is it? Can I split my attacks now, or do I have to yep. wait till? You're minus one to hit and damage on them if you split them. Okay, I'll split them. I'll thin blade on the Edder Cap, short sword on the spider. Okay. Just keep in mind the spider is not flanked. Yeah. Fuck me. Yeah, splitting your attacks at low levels is risky at best. Well, I'm plus eight. I just rolled a, like four. I wasn't hitting anyway. I mean, it's technically you've got the also the plus one from Blast, so I don't know if you remember that. I do. Another four. I would have missed anyways. Whoa! I just pressed my button on my mess and went back. So I would have missed regardless. Well, that should give you some comfort. Uh, then we're on to Barda. It does, in fact, give me some comfort. Uh, question for you. If I use, um, enlarged person, would that break the webbing off me? And is this cave tall enough for me to use enlarged person? Um, the cave is tall enough for you to use enlarged person in that you can enlarge and be cramped in here, uh, but you won't be functional to do anything. Um, enlarged person will definitely give you an extra chance to break free. And, and I'll just it'll like, give you a chance to shut it, break him free. I don't want to enlarge make myself useless. Yeah, being enlarged will basically put you out of combat, but it'll get you out of the web. Alright, I'm still in the web. You might want to just attack, since you need to roll, like, a 14 or higher to get out. I think it's 17 or higher at this point. I, yeah, yeah, from now on, I'm probably just going to attack. I guess one more round to being useless. Also, you got your shield going, so hitting is a big deal now. Okay, then we're back to initiative. What a waste. Well, you could probably kill the ender cap that's next to us, or the edder cap next to us. Yeah, I'm going to probably go for that. Um, hmm. 
five HP. Kind of a waste. What, magic missile? Yeah, it seems to just like go for the shore thing kind of a thing, you know? It's not even technically that short of a thing. Or they followed up cantrip, maybe. You could open up with a pair of cantrips, and then if it doesn't yeah. work, use your magic missile. Sure. It's not a bad call. We'll pew pew some rays. You also have your strike you could use as your standard action. I could. Just go with the cantrips for now, though. Is that plus six counting all your bonuses? Yeah. Oh, no, it'd be plus seven because I've lost, I've lost myself as well. So it'll be 13 total for the second one and 21. Okay. Well, his AC is 15, so if you got all your bonuses in, that would be a miss. All right. Okay. You know what? Let's just... I got spells. I got spells to burn. I'm going to just shoot off a magic missile to finish it. Um, for the whopping 1d4 plus 1. It definitely takes him out of the fight. Maybe not the most efficient use of spells, but, you know, six damage is enough. It's more, greater than five, so. Yep, he goes down. I'll take a player off the board and not do anything. Um. So, yeah, that's it. Okay. Um. Somehow, Barda is second in initiative. I rolled well. All right. Uh, you said it's a minus two to hit? Yep. But the spiders are currently stunned, so they get uh, minus two to their armor class and no dex. That's right, I'll quit it. Okay. Roll your uh, So it'll be... What is it? I get 2d6, so 12 plus 3. Um, no, you double your strength, so oh, it'll be 15. 12 plus 6. Oh, no, not... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I'm two-handing, I'm sorry. I think I rolled my one-handing thing there. All right, so you're right, 2 plus 6... Or tw uh, 12 plus 6, so 18, and then plus that 11 there. So 29. Does that total. automatically roll your confirm? Oh, right, for the confirm. I forgot. I'm sorry. 18 will kill it anyway, but I was just curious if you confirmed. Do you have cleave? Looks like I confirmed it. I do. I do now. Okay. Well, then you can roll your attack on the second spider, who is also unconscious. All right, 19 to hit for 10 damage. Okay. I'm actually rolling a good attack rolls this game. What is going on? You just jinxed it. Yeah, you just opened up, right. opened up a did. hole for the other caps to move through and eat you. Okay, then we're on Did to... Did I kill the other spider or is it still alive? Are you doing anything else, Barda? You still have your move and your swift action. Uh, can I cast spells with my move or no? You can cast cantrips. Um, I will cast... Your minor wounds? No, I don't need that health. I'm good. I'll be done with my turn. Okay. Well, your uh, swift action's plus one to initiative, and your move action's plus two for your next uh, roll. And then we're on to Corey. I will attack the spider.
So I guess it's I guess it's the uh, couple of rounds of four. Well, that's a hit. Holy shit. Did you kill it? No, max damage with the short sword. Nice. You doing anything else? Nope. Okay, then we're on to the editor cap. Um, the back editor cap will move up. And he will attack Barda. Solve Barda's damage problem. Holy shit, those are all misses. Okay, so he won't really do anything. The other editor cap will move up and try and web Theron. All right. Oh my god, he cannot roll a decent number. Just me, fucking Neo back here dies on these webs. Okay, uh, the other editor cap will move up and attack Corey. Apparently missing three times. The spider will attack the dust devil. Ooh, finally hitting. Doing d6 plus one. I assume he's immune to poison because he's an elemental. Yep, and he, I'm guessing not magical. No, it's just a common spider. So with dr5, I take nothing? Uh, yes. And the last spider attacks uh, Corey with to no avail. And then we're on to Crimson. I'm just going to run up and grab a drink while you resolve your uh, attacks. I'm going to go ahead and attack him. Are you done? I assume you're done. You guys not hear me? We can. Oh, okay. It's just Joe who's crashing. I don't think Yogi's done, has he? Oh, maybe he did. Yeah, there's a bunch of rolls there. He might have to resolve it when he gets back. Can you hear me? Now I can. Sorry, computer went crap. I can someone roll one d six plus one on the northeast header cap. Three points. All right. All right, I'm back in. That's your strike? Yes. Okay. 
Okay, just roll initiative when you're back up. All right, I'm back again. Did did you attack with uh, your thingy? Nope, one second. What's the D4 plus four then? What's D4 plus four? You rolled an eight plus five and then rolled D4 plus four. I just assumed that was your bite. You're talking about the death double thing. Oh, okay. And I rolled a two, so it doesn't matter. Awesome. Okay. Then we are back to Theron, who is killing it with initiative, except that he didn't roll initiative. Sorry. I'll do it now. Still killing it, though. And Bart is apparently cheating, too, because he's got a 22 for initiative. Okay, Theron, right. you're up first. <sighs> I'm trying to decide, like... What time of day was it when we got interrupted in our travels? Like, how how close are we to taking an extended rest? Um, well, you can take a rest whenever you want, functionally. But uh, it was only, like, midday when you encountered the Edder Cap. Midday? Okay. Maybe mid-afternoon. I think you fought the, uh, the Arrowhawk in the morning. Okay. Yeah, screw it. Like, I got spells... I don't this think anyone's going to want to do anything after this, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to cast Grease. And this 10-foot square up here. Um... I'm not the best at drawing on roll 20. Like that? Yeah, perfect. Exactly what I was going for. And that is a 15 reflex save from the two other caps and the spider. And the spider's still stunned, I think, but... Yeah, the spider's out of it. Like, uh, it's only... It's we're the only two other caps that I'm mostly... Do you remember how many rounds it was? I think it was f five or six, wasn't it? It was... Let me scroll up. I think it's only been two or three rounds. Yeah, yeah, they're they're out of another three rounds. Actually, technically four because they're stunned again for the last round. But yeah, so reflex saving throw. Yeah. Two hundred cap. Oh, both of the other caps uh, save, and I guess it doesn't really matter for the spider, but uh, he obviously falls while he's unconscious. He's unconscious. He's already prone. But, you know, the area is still greased for, you know, another round after this. So if they try and move or they end their turn there or whatever. Okay. But that's it. Okay, then we're on to Barda. Okay, um, so the, neither one of the other caps are disabled right now, right? No. No, they're just in a slippery area. If they, on their turn, I think they have to make a balance or reflex save to do anything. Okay, uh... I know I'm within range of them, so he'll probably get a, um, a uh, attack of opportunity, but I'm going to cast Protection from Evil on myself as well. Give myself a further plus two AC. Protection from evil doesn't stack with uh, what you call it. It um, does not. Okay. No, they're both deflection bonuses. Oh, yep, you're right. They both do say deflection. My bad. I missed that part. The protection from evil part. All right, then I will go ahead and just swing on him. Protection from evil is a really good spell to cast in general. Great spell. All right, nineteen to hit for fifteen damage. Okay. Yes, I, this letter cap. And you can actually subtract two from it because I'm webbed. I think you said it's minus two to my tags. Yep. So 17 to hit for 15 damage. Okay. You're killing it. You doing anything else?
Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, then we're on to the editor caps. Okay, so he has to make a balance check to do anything. Uh, yeah, oh, no. It's on every turn that they're in there on my turn. The save is repeated. And then if they try and move, they have to make a balance check. Yeah. Or fall apart, potentially. So the editor cap... I'm just looking to see if he has a climb speed. That would be tricky. I mean, I guess to get out, he'd have to make the check first, but yeah. Yeah, he's got to make the balance either way, but he doesn't actually have a climb. Oh, no, he does have a climb speed. His climb speed is 30. Okay, um, so he will make his balance check. Which he succeeds on. And then he will double five foot around this corner. Climbing on the wall. Which I think still leaves him with his attack. So he can attack uh, Yogi just for the fun of it. Ooh, are any of those hits? Who's that? Yeah. Person? The 15 or all of them? Just a 15. Okay, so you take a claw for three points. Um, then the other editor cap will make his uh, balance check. And I think he will do something similar. He will go up on the wall and climb his way around uh, Barda. But he has to use all of his actions to do that without provoking. So he is done. And then that leaves the bottom one. I think it was attacking Corey, so it'll continue doing that. Ah, bite for Corey. Is that claw hit? No. Okay, so he uh, bites. I don't think we've had a bite yet. Uh, D8 plus 2. Nice. 10 points of damage and a poison save. I assume I save. Yeah, it's a DC 15. Good thing too, because that's class 2 poison, which is a lot more potent. Okay, so the wolf spider will attack uh, the dust cloud. Missing horribly, and then the other wolf spider will attack Cory. Oh my god, holy shit, he rolls, Batman. And I am done. So we are on to Cory. Why'd that say zero? Oh, okay. It was a 13 and 11, so it did hit. Okay. What's the heart thing for on the other cap? 
Oh, bleeding. Okay. You just slaughtered it. Yep. You doing anything else? Nope. Then we are on to Crimson. And then Yogi. Or actually do my dust devil. And now Yogi. Okay. Then we're on to initiative. They're in fails. Dude, I know, right? You got a space in your uh, macro. Yeah. Huh. Should clean this up so that I can just press one button. That's the way I like to do it. There we go. Better caps taking the lead. Okay. Well, then we have delicious uh, mage behind enemy lines. And somehow he completely misses the mage. I don't think they're smart enough to flank, so he's not going to do anything else. Uh, the other editor cap will continue to attack uh, Yogi. Oh, tearing strips off of him. Claw and a bite. And a poison save. Okay, you resist the poison, but uh, take 12 points of damage. And that's it for the Edder Cap. So then we're on to Theron. Hmm. They do seem to be doing a very good job of dying. I appear to be in melee, not the greatest place to be. I'm not webbed, though, so I'm free to take a five-foot step, which I will. <sighs> I'd be better off fighting against this one, because he's weak. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to shoot him with a strike. Okay. Hopefully roll decently. He's in melee, so... Fourteen doesn't hit, I don't think. No, he, no, he's... Well, his uh, touch AC is only thirteen, but if you're minus four... Is that counting your minus four? That is counting it, yes. Oh, yeah, then that's a hit. His touch AC is only 13. Okay. Oh, um, not flanked anymore. What was that? I was going to say he's flanked, but he's not anymore. Ah. Yeah, that's a different editor. Yeah, that's 
trip. Well, I mean, I moved out of there so that I didn't have to worry about being in the melee when I was doing it. Uh, what's the damage on the strike again for? D6 plus uh, half your uh, level, I think. Okay. Oh, there we go. Bang, finish him off. You're going to make Corey take uh, a movement action. I mean, it's probably better than potentially getting, you know, clobbered in the face by one of them. Possibly. It was attacking uh, Yogi, so he was pretty safe where he was. Are you doing anything else there? No, I'm good. Okay. I mean, I have five foot step, I didn't have to move, so. Well, five foot, a little if you five foot and take no other movement, you, you can do it for free. So you still have your move and your uh, swift left. Uh, no, I'm good. Okay, then we are on to Yogi. Who did he hit with that spell? One that was almost dead. Finish it off. I'll strike the uh, wolf spider. No, I won't. And that's it. Okay, then we're on to Barda. Or sorry, uh, Corey. Of course. Of course. You just do like 300 points to aspire that had two hit points left? Yeah, that's why I'm saying of course. No, no crit since the first round against two Edder Caps and a spider. And at the end of the round, it's like, oh yeah, he's, yeah, he's dead. You're fine now. Okay, then we're on to Barda. Uh, can you update my... I don't know if I screwed it up or not. I accidentally refreshed my page. Now I can't see anything. I'm trying... Oh, okay. Refreshing work. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, this spider's still incapacitated? Yes or no? Yeah, he's down for two more rounds. Okay, I'm going to... Step five foot step into here, and then I will. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna stay off to the side. Um, what you're gonna do I'm is not move attacking. while you're entangled. What's that? What you're gonna do is not move while you're entangled. That's right. I'm entangled. That's right. We said that we couldn't. I couldn't move. All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and go for another attack then. You're attacking the edder cap or the f spider? Edder cap, and I missed. Okay, then we're on to Crimson. He flails uselessly. I don't remember that northern Edder Cap taking an action. Is this the same round that he squeezed out of there? No, it isn't, because he did that in the grease round. I guess I just missed him. No, he went at the beginning of the round. Oh, he, he, he attacked there. Yeah. Yeah, he woofed. 
Oh, okay. That's initiative? Oh, God. So it just seems like he did nothing. Okay, uh, Theron uh, blows it out of the water. Yeah, boy. There's only one guy left and one spider. It's more or less out of it. Um, I'm, I can't kill it. But I guess I could soften it up. But is there a point in softening it up? Um, most definitely. The softer it is, the easier it is to kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'll use another strike. How many strikes you got left? Uh, I think this will be... Nah, nah. You only use the one, right? I I don't think I used any last time. I don't have them checked off, so I'm assuming that I have one more after this. Okay. Is he in melee? Um, no, because he's not attacking Barda, and Barda's not attacking. Oh no, Barda did attack him this round, so yeah, he is in melee. Has a 12 looking at his touch. Uh, his touch AC is 13. Well, yep, yeah, I'm just counting the bless, so unfortunately that's that's all I got. Okay, you doing anything else? Um, I'll move over here just to get a little bit out of the way, people, and that's it. Okay, uh, then we are on to the editor cap, who will move up and attack... Um, hmm, that's a good question. I don't even know who he wants to attack. Uh, odd, it'll be Barda. Because Barda is odd. There we go. So he attacks Barda. Ooh, I think that'll be uh, a hit or two. With a 19 hits, yep. The 15's not a hit. Nope. Oh. With your minus two decks and your minus two armor class? I think with that, I would still be at a 16 with the spell cast. Oh, okay. Uh, then he will claw you for six points. And uh, that appears to be it. So then we're on to Corey. Oh, that's an 18. That's possible critical. Oh, it's a critical and a critical. Nice. Oh, and that's a hit. That's a hit. So I have max damage, and then do I roll two times? No, you got to crit both times. You get max damage twice, and then you roll for the confirm. You mean roll the damage? Yeah, on the confirm. So you roll twice, you get max for each crit, and then <laughs> one for max. the confirm. <laughs> this guy just doesn't exist anymore. A fine red mist appears in front of Barda. Okay. I'm so, so glad you dead. massively murder everything at the end of our battle. That's right. You know. We got I, just needed, I needed all of you watching me when I was doing it. He's showing off. 
He doesn't want you to think that he's hiding in the corner because he's a coward. It's just because he needs an audience. I secured two kills. I killed two things this fight. Yeah, was there, it a flash, fine red mist? But you know. <laughs> 